For our research, the, the Canadian light source is, is critical. Uh, what we do is basically make crystals here, and this is where all the lab work happens. And then we freeze them down electric nitrogen, and then we give them to a courier and they just take it there and they stick it on the robot and then we, we control that robot remotely. And so we can get then all the information we need to, to reconstruct how these proteins work in sort of atom by atom detail. Many bacteria that are capable of causing inf infections cover themselves in a layer of, of long chains of sugars. And the idea is that this layer protects the cell from our normal host defense machinery. So it's, it's not sugar in the sense of the stuff you put in your coffee. It's in, in the more extended sense of, for example, sugar is the same thing as a starch, which is the same thing as face, even something like E. coli will build, make this sugar 80 different ways that we know about. And what that means is when the immune system encounters the same bacterium a second time, if the, if the sugar structure is different, it doesn't recognize it. So what we've been looking at is a portion of this sugar though that is actually kept, kept constant. So you look at the enzymes that build that as a way to try and get a handle on um, something that you could use, for example, to build a vaccine that would recognize many different bacteria rather than just one. So ultimately the, uh, the path to discovery of new antibiotics is a long, arduous, expensive one. We're really at the A's and B's of the alphabet at, at this stage. The goal is to try and understand what those targets are, how they operate, what those targets look like, uh, with a view to providing the informational foundation that then allows you to go to the next step and ask, number one, can we find things that will block this step? And if so, what, what might those things be?